Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I am really excited for today's video. This is the longest cleaning video I think I have ever done besides my marathons. We are tackling so many different areas around my home and we are going to be getting started in my front closet. As you can see here, this area is extremely neglected. It is so full of shoes and jackets and mitts and all of the accessories that come along with winter and summer. So I really just want to take everything out of here and go through it all. So much of this stuff doesn't even fit the kids anymore. We have every single season and I really want to narrow this down and simplify it a lot. So that's where we are starting off today. We are also going to be going through and decluttering and organizing my kids bedroom dressers and their closets we're going to be doing some deep cleaning and some decorating for easter and i am just really excited for everything that is coming your way in today's video and like i did say it is a super long one so i hope you are relaxing or cleaning along with me whatever you like to do during these cleaning videos if you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Aaliyah and I am a mom of three. I have a one, four, and five-year-old, so my household is extremely busy and chaotic more often than it is not, and I love to just share the real-life messes and moments here on my channel that come along with being a mom and keeping a home. I do a ton of deep cleaning, decluttering, organizing, and the occasional room makeover here on my channel, so if you do enjoy it, cleaning motivation and those types of videos definitely stick around and subscribe down below i post a new video every single friday and if you are a returning viewer thank you so much for coming back for another video i am so happy you all are here and i really hope you enjoy today's video small city thinking i get why you left small minded people sure know how to drink So now that I have all of the shoes and boots and sandals out of the closet, I want to go through and pair everything up. I just want to make sure all of the shoes have a pair or there really is no point in keeping them. I'm then going to go through and get all of the shoes that no longer fit Grayson and Quinn and put them in this bag so we can take them to the donation center. We have no need for them now that they have outgrown them, but anything that no longer fits Rowan, I am going to be putting in a separate bin to, of course, hand down to Quinn. She won't fit these shoes for a couple of years, so we will be storing them in the basement and I I'm also going to put all of the shoes that are no longer in season in this bin as well to store for the upcoming season. Now that we are done with all of the footwear, I quickly want to go through the kids' bins up here. One is our winter bin with all of their hats and mitts and scarves, and the second bin is their summer bin that has all of their bowl caps and their sunglasses. I really want to go through and simplify these and just have as little items as possible. We still had hats in here that were from when Grayson was a baby, so it has been a long time since I've been through these bins. So I just want to go through and just keep what they they are actually needing.
feels so good getting this closet decluttered and it looks so much better i can actually see the floor again i did leave each of us one to two pairs of shoes that we are currently wearing the most often and then i will bring up our summer sandals once the snow melts here i'm hoping it is all gone by april but we do still have a fair amount now i am going to go through and just clean up the rest of the entryway i want to vacuum and mop the floors and i also want to clean the two little side panel windows Since the little side panel windows on each side of my door are frosted glass, I didn't actually notice how dirty they were until I got up close and personal. You can see how bad they were. I think most of this is from my dog's noses. The bottoms were super, super dirty and the tops were not really dirty at all. So I'm assuming they are the culprits. And of course, my kids have probably contributed along the way. Never could it bite, but somehow you make me change like I'm better. We are planning on doing some sort of feature wall on this wall where the bench is. I was originally just going to purchase a piece of artwork and hang some hooks, but I am now wanting to do something a little more fun and like I said, just something that is more of a statement right when you walk in the house. We are brainstorming and looking all over Pinterest for an idea, but I'm really looking forward to getting that done. Never could it bite, but somehow you make me change. You make me wanna do better. I don't know why. Before we head upstairs to start decluttering and organizing and cleaning my kids' bedrooms, I did want to quickly grab my little bit of Easter stuff to put out a couple decorations for Easter and spring. I keep this extremely simple. As you can see, I only have a couple of pieces, so I'm just going to add a few pops of Easter to the shelves in my office, and then we're also going to add a couple things to my dining room hutch and in my living room as well. I did also want to show you guys this this adorable interchangeable sign that Justin and the kids got me for Christmas. I think it is so cute and so much fun for the kids. So these are all the little Mickey heads that I have. I did originally think I was going to put out the Easter egg one, but when I was filming this, St. Patrick's Day was the coming Friday, so I wanted to use this one for the next week, and then I will be switching this one out for the Easter one, but I just wanted to quickly show you guys all of the different options I had because I thought this was really fun. Small town, big crowd And there you were in front of me Small talk, big thoughts All we wanted was to escape This town's too small for dreams like this Don't wanna settle down, don't wanna miss out on adventures things Let me know down below if you guys have any fun plans coming up for this weekend we have a really fun and eventful weekend this weekend because it is my birthday weekend i love birthdays they are always so much fun and i always love any reason to celebrate and this is almost a big birthday i am turning 29 this year so it is my last year in my 20s which is crazy. I cannot believe I'll be 30 next year, but I'm going to enjoy this last year being in my 20s and I'm really looking forward to it. I think it is going to be such a fun year and we aren't really doing anything too crazy. We always celebrate with my family and then as our own little family and then we always celebrate with Justin's side as well. We are very lucky that all of our family lives in the same city, so we always get tons of family time and my kids get to play with their cousins 
and it's just always something to look forward to. So let me know down below if you have anything planned for your weekend. I'm finally going to be putting away my Christmas blanket and my red pillows that I have had out since Christmas, but I thought they worked really well for winter because they're cozy and fuzzy, but I'm ready to get these stored downstairs and get my pink pillows out that I use every spring and Easter time. They work perfectly and I love the way the pink looks on my gray couch. I also purchased a really adorable bunny garland to hang on my fireplace mantle, so I'm just going to quickly clean and dust this area off. We're going to hang that up and that's all the decorating that I have for Easter and spring for my home. Now that I've put all of the decorations out, I wanted to throw in all of the pink pillow cushions that I had because they have been stored in the basement over the last eight months or so, so I wanted to get those cleaned. But of course, I already had a load of clothes in the washing machine, so I am switching those over to the dryer. I'm also going to throw in this load of towels to wash with the pillowcases because I didn't want to waste a whole load of laundry. I knew the pillowcases wouldn't fill up the machine, so I might as well throw some towels in with them. So we are finished downstairs for now. I wanted to move upstairs and get started in the bedrooms. I wanted to just quickly get the rooms tidied up. There was a ton of stuff that didn't belong in here. So I want to get all of the toys and everything else put back in the playroom or wherever it belongs. I'm going to make the beds. I'm going to dust off the furniture and then I'm going to start diving into the dresser and the closet to start decluttering all of the clothes. We are going to be starting in Grayson and Rowan's shared room. This is the room where Grayson keeps all of his clothes and then we will be moving on to the other room where I have both of the girls' clothes in the dresser and the closet. Yeah. Here's to the good days, here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. I don't want to fight no more, because I don't feel the need no more, no. Just want to make it stop. Love, and you were my first one. 
So this is the drawer that I keep all of Grayson's shorts in and I am so happy I went through this today because I had to pretty much take every single pair of shorts out of here because none of these are going to fit him going into this summer. So now I at least know ahead of time what I have to shop for and what I have to get with him going into the warmer months. So when it comes to all of Grayson's shirts and sweaters that are hung up in the closet, I do keep all of them on the bottom two rows just so he can reach them himself. He, of course, likes to pick his own clothes and get himself dressed in the morning and he obviously can't reach the two top shelves. So I keep everything down here where he can grab it himself. But not as much as this does, oh baby. Now that we are finished with Grayson's clothes, we are going to be moving on to this room to go through all of the girls' stuff. I did grab this bin out of my basement. I am just going to be throwing all of the clothes that no longer fit Rowan and just putting them in here so I can just store this downstairs for the next year or two until Quinn will start fitting some of this stuff. I'm also going to be taking all of the clothes that no longer fit Quinn and adding them to the pile I have in the hallway where I was putting Grayson's things because I will be donating all of Grayson's old clothes and all of Quinn's old clothes because we really don't have any need for them anymore. We are not having any more babies. Our family is complete. I also did not have to really clean up in here. I did clean this room the other day so the main order of business in this bedroom is just going through all of the clothes in the dresser and the closet. Like that orphan gay song. I'm stunning. You love it. Come on, give me something. I know that you want it. Come on, give me something. The night is young and so are we. So maybe you should leave with me. The night is young and so are we. Now we are going to be moving on to the closet. I have all of Quinn's stuff on the top two racks and all of Rowan's stuff on the bottom racks. So we are going to be starting with Quinn's stuff and making our way through the closet.
Outside my window Is everything pale and cold Can't seem to pick up my phone It's been ringing all day long Behind this cloud now we are going to be moving on to cleaning the master bedroom. I'm not going to be decluttering my clothes or anything like that today, but as you can see, it is quite messy in here and it was driving me nuts. So this is the next room that we are going to be tackling. As I'm watching these clips, it really inspires me to want to get some decor for our bedroom. I love our bedroom. It is very simple and minimal, but I still find it cozy and homey. But I know just grabbing a couple things to spruce it up a bit would make it just look so much better in here. I do plan on switching the light fixtures out, as you guys probably know, but I would also love to grab some decorative pillows for our bed. Some people do two or three rows of big decorative pillows and I always think that looks so beautiful and I would also love to add something above our headboard just to tie this wall together. If you guys remember from a previous video, I always take the screens off our windows during the winter months because we do get a ton of condensation and I like to be able to dry the windows without the screen in the way. I do store them behind our headboards so they don't get damaged, but now that the warmer months are starting to roll in, I'm just grabbing the window screens from behind my headboard and I'm just putting those back into the windows. I surprisingly still had quite a bit of energy this day, so we are going to continue moving on to the next room, which is going to be my master bathroom. As you guys can see here, it is an absolute disaster as per usual. I'm just going to go through and collect all of the garbage off of the countertops and around my bathtub area, and then we will be clearing this area off, getting everything cleaned up, and just making it look a lot better than it looks right now. I don't want your persona I just want to be real with you tonight Can I have you alone now? I just want to reveal what's on my mind You tell me that you're used to no feelings But I'm gonna change it Yeah, you'll be awakened Cause when my love starts working on you It'll take your breath away like never before If you are still here and still watching at this point in the video, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it more than you know. I would also love to hear your honest opinion down in the comments. Do you like these longer videos? I think this is the longest cleaning video I have ever put out aside from my cleaning marathons, but just as a regular 
all day clean with me type video. This is the longest one. I believe it is around the 36 minute mark. I do usually keep my videos around the 26 to 27 minute mark. So it is an additional 10 minutes. And I am curious if you like that or if you do prefer the more shorter videos in length, definitely let me know because it is something I would definitely take into consideration when filming and editing my videos. Oh, no. I think when I was filming this, it was around 5 p.m. And that is the one good thing about the time change is I feel like I have daylight so much longer now. I don't think it gets dark in my city till about 8 o'clock now, which is so nice. I feel like I have so much more energy as the summer months approach and I just am a lot more productive. Let me know if you guys agree down below, but I just love having those extra daylight hours in the evenings. Now that we are finished in the bathroom, we are going to go through and vacuum all of the carpets in the bedroom since we have not yet done that. And then we will be heading back downstairs to get the floors cleaned down there as well. I also forgot to film it, but I did go downstairs and move all of the stuff in the washing machine over to the dryer. I didn't dry any of the pillowcases. I did hang all of those to dry. So we will be putting those back onto the pillow inserts and getting those on the couch as well. Okay, we are back on the main floor. This was getting quite a bit later in the day. I think this was after supper. And the first thing I was wanting to do was just get all of the pillowcases back onto the pillow inserts. They were still quite a bit damp, but honestly, I think that works a little better because this way the pillows kind of push them out and get all of the wrinkles out of the covers. So I'm just going to quickly put all of these back inside, get these on the couch how I want to arrange them. And then we're going to start working on the floor 
floors. And that is going to be it for today. I had the most productive day I think I have ever had. Justin was home during this day. So he was entertaining the kids most of the day. And that is always such a huge help. There would be no way I could get all of this done if I was home alone with all three kids. They just don't allow me to be as productive as I would like, but that's okay. They are only little ones and I know when they are older, I will wish these days back when they are making the messes right behind me. You had me at a low Cause where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else I got you and you got me too You can ride all the blue I wanna do what you want to I did not even realize how much I missed the pops of pink throughout my house until I put everything out today. I absolutely love the pink throw pillows on my gray couch. This was the very first set of throw pillows I purchased when we got this couch years ago. I always try and decide if I want to maybe try a new accent color throughout my house, but pink is always my favorite and I don't think I will ever stray too far from it. I don't think I have ever cleaned this much of my house in a single day and it felt really good to be productive, but I won't lie, I sat on my butt for the next two days after this because it's all about balance and I felt like I rewarded myself by giving myself a couple days to just rest and recharge and do some stuff that I wanted to do. I caught up on some reading, I caught up on some shows, and we had a lot of family time and that's what it's all about, but I really hope you guys enjoyed today. Today's video thank you so much for watching and making it all the way to the end this was a long one let me know if you did enjoy the length down below and I will see you guys all next Friday with a brand new video I've been saving you you save me too yeah I need it don't you need me need it too cause I got you and you got me too